Hello there everyone, welcome back and happy Halloween. I just thought I'd do a video on this day because as you can see my outfit is Scoops Ahoy, Steve Harrington from Stranger Things. So, And this is a video I've been wanting to do for a while so I thought I'd do a Why Blank is a Great Character video on Steve Harrington. Now in this series so far I've done one on Abby from Last of Us Part 2, Julian Albert from The Flash, and Angel Dust from Has Been Hotel. And what I like to do with this series is I do um, videos on either characters I don't think get enough attention or they aren't as well liked or just characters I really want to talk about where I explain why I think that they're a great character. So with all that aside, I'll be doing a video on Steve Harrington. So why Steve Harrington? Yes, Steve Harrington is indeed a great character. So if you've never seen the show Stranger Things, Steve Harrington is he started off as kind of like an antagonist in the show, like compared to all the other people, like the corrupt government agents or the alien creatures from the Upside Down. He isn't like a real antagonist. He was just kind of a bully who was dating Nancy, the older sister of one of the main kids of the group. And so upon that, like he went through what's called a redemption arc where after some of the stuff he did in season one, he felt bad and tried to redeem himself, and oh boy, he did. And he saved the day at the end of the season where he helped Nancy and Jonathan fight off the Demogorgon. Which was like pretty awesome, and apparently it wasn't originally supposed to go like that. Apparently, from what I heard, he was supposed to die in season one, but the directors, like the Duffer Brothers and all, really liked him and what he brought to the character so much, they decided to keep him on board which genius choice and then season two they develop a bond that more where they probably do one of the best pairings that was unexpected with Dustin and Steve how well, um, Steve is kind of like giving him you know advice about you know how to talk to girls and all that sorts of stuff and I like really really great stuff Steve is such an amazing guy Nancy does not deserve him I'm being 100% he is he started out as a jerk but he's he's like a lovable jerk if that makes sense and now he's just such a cool awesome dude and he's really become one of the main popular characters I think in the show like he's up there with like Eleven or the Jim Hopper or etc so I think that's really cool that character that was supposed to be like a side character that wasn't really good being the show that much turned out to be such a fan favorite and people really like him and that just gives credit to the actor Joe Curie. He did such a phenomenal job portraying a character that is supposed to be like, like he's a jerk, but at the same time, he's a lovable jerk. And he grows into being something more than just um, your typical high school bully. He, you know, get, gets more dimensions as the show goes on. And he's, he's like a really cool guy and someone that you would probably want to hang out with in real life. Of course, I had to mention that since another reason how you know that this character and this the show in general has really blown up in popularity there's this one game i love to play a lot called dead by daylight and i did a review on that actually but what's so cool is they like do constant updates every three or four months where they add new characters and a new map and all sorts of stuff and stranger things about a year ago had an update with nancy and steve harrington along with the demogorgon and hawkins laboratory Again, that was really amazing and really cool update. And I'm just saying, there's a reason why Steve Harrington was put in there and not Jonathan Byers. I'm just saying. But yeah, again, I just wanted to throw that out there that he he's really become such a great character in the show that even he'll be put in video games and stuff to promote the show and all that. Like That's just like the testament to the actor's portrayal of the character and just the write-in development for him over the seasons has really made him such a fantastic and excellent character that I think not only me but a lot of people can agree on. So like upon season two and like he becomes kind of like a like a um, babysitter if you will babysitter Steve looking after the kids of Hawkins dirt throughout season two like he helps them with some of their adventures trying to uncover stuff and all that. And then season three, he wears this iconic outfit, Scoops Ahoy Steve, where he's working at this ice cream shop at the Starcourt Mall. Again, pretty epic stuff. And he, again, like they form their own group with him, Dustin, Erica, who's the younger sister of Lucas, one of the main members of the group. 
and then a new character that they introduced, Robin, and... Like, their group is really good. Like, you can see probably them getting paired up more in Season 4 and going forward. Like, it's just really impressive what they were able to do with a character that was supposed to be just sidelined and maybe in a few episodes, but they really made this character a staple, and I think that goes to the credit of the actor and what he's brought to the role. Oh, if you heard that, it's my dog. She wanted to come in here, so. Hey, Bella. She wanted to come in here while I was filming, and I didn't want to leave her out, so. Yeah, she was just kind of sitting there. But, yeah, sorry about that. It's just, she's really adorable. <laughs> but um, I really do think that this character has so much more potential going forward, and I think he is really well done. Yeah, she wanted to leave, so I just let her out. But, I, like I was saying before I got sidetracked, <laughs> Steve Harrington, again, a character that didn't really have that much going into season one, like just a side type of antagonist and bully character, had, like the actor had a lot of charisma, brought a lot more to the role, especially going forward in future seasons, and really made the character one of the staples, I feel, of the show. And he's definitely my favorite character. And I would love to see more of what they're going to do with him going forward because I really, like, I don't want to overhype him up, but I really do think that Steve Harrington is a great character. So, that video was kind of rambled and stuff. I just wanted to do a quick video on this character because I do think he's really great. He's such a nice guy. He's, like, a, a pretty fantastic redemption arc um, from him being a jerk to being a an awesome cool dude who helps the good guys and stuff in the show i really do appreciate it and like it and i wish more shows did characters like this because the development here is pretty fantastic but yeah again thank you all so much for watching this video again i it was kind of a rambled video and all but i do appreciate it and i hope you all are having a great halloween and what you guys could be dressing up as and what do you think of steve harrington from stranger things if you want to let me know any of that stuff please comment down below in the comment section and if you want to hit the subscribe button as well and hit the bell as well to get notified when i upload i would really much appreciate it every view counts and i really do appreciate it again thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you all in the next video bye